music students at Our Lady of Wisdom School, I welcome all of you to our leaving ceremony. This year's leaving ceremony may look different as we are unable to gather in person due to the restrictions related to the coronavirus. However, it does not diminish the achievements of the grade six students, nor does it diminish their contributions to our school community. We are so proud of how they have grown over the years. It is hard to believe that the school year and a big chapter of these students' lives is quickly coming to an end. The leaving ceremony is a time of joy and sadness, excitement and tears, eagerness and reluctance. Today we celebrate with the grade six class. We remember our past here at Our Lady of Wisdom School and look with anticipation to the future. We have a wonderful group of grade six students who have displayed excellent leadership skills during their last year at our school. They acted as PISA helpers, office helpers, kindergarten helpers, bus monitors, and mentors to the younger students. They were always enthusiastically willing to lend a hand to help out when needed. Together, we celebrate their unique gifts. Today we gather to celebrate our oneness and ask God's blessing on these grade six students. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, let us pray. God our Father, we are here today to remember, to dream, and to plan for our grade six students. As we look around the world, we see your presence. Teach these grade six students to always remember that you are with them, caring for them and helping them shape their future. Keep alive in their hearts the faith you have given them. Be their guiding light in the years ahead. We ask this through our Lord Jesus, whose memory and light we celebrate, and through the Holy Spirit, who is our guide. Amen. A reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 4 through 11. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit gives them. There are different ways of serving, but the same Lord is served. There are different abilities to perform service, but the same God gives ability to all for their particular service. The Spirit's presence is shown in some way in each person for the good of all. The Spirit gives one person a message full of wisdom, but while to another person, the same Spirit gives one a message full of knowledge. One in the same Spirit gives faith to one person, while to another person he gives the power to hear. But it is one and the same Spirit who does all of this, as he wishes, he gives a different gift to each person. The word of the Lord. Let us join together in prayer to thank God for the many gifts and blessings he has given us. Let us pray for our students who leave Our Lady of Wisdom School and let's ask God for his help as they graduate and continue their education at a new school. The response to our prayers is, Lord, hear our prayer. For each of Our Lady of Wisdom graduates, that they may hear God's call to seek peace, to act justly, to love tenderly, and to walk humbly with our God. Following the light of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the teachers that our students have taught, who have supported them throughout their elementary years, encourage them to grow spiritually, academically, and socially that God will continue to bless them in their works as they light the way for their students. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For their parents and family members who love and care for them, that God will watch over them as they help our graduates to become successful, caring people, showing them the way to goodness and truth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Hear our prayer. For all those who experience darkness in their lives, those who suffer from sickness, sorrow, hunger, or loneliness, that they may be strengthened by the care and presence of all of us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of the essential workers, their families, and those who have been affected or lost a loved one to COVID-19 that everyone stays safe, healthy, and united during these challenging times. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. Au du Père, et du Fils, et du Saint-Esprit. Amen. Demandons au Seigneur de bénir tous les enfants de 6e année qui vont laisser notre école cette année. As we prepare to leave our leader of wisdom, and embrace the challenges of our lives and our world, 
let us ask for God's blessing. May God bless us with the strength to journey to Him and to seek justice for all. May God bless us with wisdom to care for our earth. May God bless us with love to share with others. May God bless all those who journey with us. May we go in peace to be witnesses of hope to the world, confident in ourselves and willing to be God's presence on earth, to be a light that leads others to believe and hope in Jesus Christ. Ali Ape. Amen. In the prayer, in the feast, in the Saint Esprit. Amen. At this time, we would like to recognize some students who have shown outstanding achievement and have excelled in certain areas. Our, first, we will begin with the Christian Fellowship Award. The winner of this year's Christian Fellowship Award is someone who has all the qualities of a leader in spirit and in faith. This year's recipient is someone who's caring about her friends and classmates. She is always willing to help others in need and is compassionate. Finally, the teachers have described her as always having a positive attitude in school. Today, we salute her for following in Jesus' footsteps. Congratulations, Joy Kim. Our second award today is the Innovation Award. Mrs. Muriel Nystrand was the school secretary at Our Lady of Wisdom from 1973 to 2001. This year, our recipient is someone who appreciates the value of innovation and applies his creative ideas and thinks outside of the box as a way of demonstrating his learning. This student is always willing to help his classmates and teachers learn more about various forms of technology. This award is in honor of Mrs. Nystrand. This year's recipient of the Innovation Award is Damien Schmielkowski. Congratulations, Damien. Enjoy. Athletic Ability and Sportsmanship Award. This award is presented to the top male and female athletes in grade six. These are students who have demonstrated a high degree of skill, teamwork, sportsmanship, and leadership in class, school, and board athletic events. This award is named after Mr. Andrew Donegan, longtime Our Lady of Wisdom athletic rep and physical education teacher. Our Athletic Ability and Sportsmanship Award winners are Lucas Latif and Lucy Burns. And now for the French as a Second Language and Immersion Award. The FSL award is presented to the student demonstrating a high level of proficiency in French language instruction. This student is very confident when expressing himself in French and often takes a leadership role to help out his classmates. This year's FSL and Immersion Award goes to Carl Ten Fauchian. French as a second language extended award, ce prix est décerné à l'étudiant ou l'étudiante qui a démontré de la persévérance, beaucoup d'efforts et une attitude positive dans l'apprentissage du français langue seconde. This award is presented to the student who has by consistent effort and perseverance demonstrated a most positive attitude toward learning French as a second language. This recipient has shown great cultural openness when it comes to learning French. She has always demonstrated a good knowledge of the language during her conversation with the French teacher. 
In addition, she regularly did their French work well in class and online. Congratulations to Alicia Katom. Félicitations à Alicia Katom. Well, it's consistent effort in all areas. This award is presented to the two students whom the teachers have identified as individuals who demonstrated perseverance and consistently worked hard. These students strive to achieve their personal best in all that he or she does. This year, Mahib Shaheen and Taylor Saunders are being awarded for the most consistent effort in all subject areas. Congratulations. Artistic Achievement Award. This year we have two winners for this award. Both students are creative and have natural ability for the arts. They both shine when presenting dramatic skits, entertaining their audience, and through their visual art. This award is presented to the two students who have demonstrated an outstanding ability in the arts. This year's recipients are Autumn Corville and Shayara Robinson. Community Builder Award. The student receiving this award exemplifies what it means to give back and be part of the community. Our recipient this year in many areas around the school can always be counted upon to help. She is a positive role model for her peers. Some of the ways that this student contributes to our school is by being a kindergarten and office helper. She's also an active member of the library club and helps with so many classroom responsibilities. She truly exemplifies what it means to be community. Ella Rollins is this year's recipient of the Community Builder Award. Congratulations, Ella. Academic Standing Award. This award is presented to the student whose overall achievement, performance, participation and effort have been consistently exemplary in all areas of the curriculum. This student always gives his personal best, produces quality work in all that he does and is willing to share his insights with his classmates. This student thinks creatively and enjoys solving challenging problems. The award for highest academic standing is presented to Roshan Smith. Congratulations, Roshan. And our last award, the Director of Education Student Award. This award is presented to the student who best exemplifies the gospel values as outlined in the board's Believing, Discovering, Achieving document. This student exemplifies our school board motto of be community, be well, and be innovative. She's an active member of different school clubs. She is kind to everyone and she has many creative and innovative ideas. I would now like to present the award to Isabel Hernandez. Congratulations, Isabel. Grade sixes, we will miss your leadership, enthusiasm, friendly smiles, and acts of kindness. Please know that each of you has made a positive impact at Our Lady of Wisdom School. We wish you all the best at the new school. Oh, boys and girls, it's time to say goodbye. See you. Au revoir. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. Monsieur Sergio, sign off. Hey, grade six. Um, I just wanted to take this opportunity to say what an amazing year that we had, even though it was cut short. You are an amazing group, and it truly was a blessing to be your teacher this year. I wish you all the best as you move forward to St. Pete's or any new school that you go on to next year and know that you will always have a special place in our hearts at Our Lady of Wisdom and we wish you all the best. À vous mes sixième année, je vais m'ennuyer de votre belle complicité et de votre énergie positive. Je vous remercie pour votre belle collaboration et votre tendresse envers vos pères. Je vous souhaite beaucoup de bonheur et du succès au secondaire. Mr. Brothers here, I'd like to thank the grade six group and congratulations on your graduation from OLW. It was a year many of us will never forget for obvious reasons, but the main reason I will never forget this year is because of you guys. 
Right from the first week of school, the STEM challenge we did together as a, as a grade six group. Remember the basketball? You guys demonstrated that you support each other and that you care about one another. Keep that going. Look out for one another next year. I'm so grateful that I had the chance to get to know you and teach you. Some of you guys for two years in a row. Moving forward, I wish you all the best at St. Pete's. Be sure to say hi to Mrs. Brothers and to Stephen, all the best at St. Matt's. Don't be a stranger and keep in touch. We miss you already. Many people have come together to make it possible for our wonderful grade six students to have succeeded throughout their years at Our Lady of Wisdom School. Grade six students, please take a moment sometime today to give a big thank you to those special people who have supported you throughout your elementary years. Your parents, your guardians, your grandparents, other family members, and friends. They have given you encouragement. They have given you constructive feedback and perhaps have given you that extra little push when you needed it. It takes a village to raise a child and our staff of Our Lady of Wisdom is so appreciative of all the support from students' families that we have been blessed with over the years. I would also like to thank our wonderful staff, our grade six educators, Mrs. Frappier, Mr. Brothers, Madame Roy, Monsieur Saint-Jour, and Mrs. Lamborn would have loved to have celebrated this special group's achievements in person. However, they worked hard to make the end of the year memorable for this group of students. Thank you to Miss Jamie and Miss Lynn for their contributions of planning and creating certificates. Finally, we would like to thank Alison Vavrin for creating this virtual farewell ceremony for our students. Grade 6 students, it has been a pleasure to watch you grow as individuals throughout your years here at Our Lady of Wisdom School. We are all so proud of you. Your high schools are blessed to welcome you in the fall. You will be so missed at Our Lady of Wisdom. Our Lady of Wisdom staff now invite you to join the Google Class Meets to celebrate together. Teachers will be presenting the slideshow to the grade 6 students during these Google Hangouts. Please join us. Oh, hey grade sixes! I almost forgot! I gotta give you your big shout out! Honestly, guys, the world awaits each one of you. I want you guys to remember you can do anything you want and honestly, be happy today, celebrate and be joyous. I wish I could be there. It's time to dance! Congratulations, the class of 2020.